Well, as promised everyone, your Barefoot Country cook has finished her first grilling experience. Dove into the man's world, or usually it's my husband that does the grilling. And this is the outcome. Ain't they beautiful? Now the real test is when you cut into it. So what I did was with these, I lit my coals. I let them go good and white. I put the meat on the grill. But first what I did was I sprayed some nonstick spray on the grate. And then I put the meat on. And it was after the coals had gotten totally white. And about every 20 minutes, what I did with the ribs was I took some pineapple juice. I might just put some pineapple juice on top on each side every 20 minutes or so. And these cooked at a temperature of 280 degrees for about three hours. A nice slow cook. I had some wood chips for smoking on the side in a little aluminum pan with water in those so soaked up wood chips. And the chicken drumettes or drumsticks, I just put some lemon pepper seasoning on because I like lemon pepper chicken. So, and when certain pieces are done ahead of others, there's a second rack inside the grill. You just put those up there. Now, the one thing I wasn't sure about was the vents. See, that's the part my husband never shared with me, so I had to look it up. And like I said in the uh, previous video where you actually see these wonderful things cooking is if it has one vent, the other grill we had had just one vent in the top. And it has a temperature gauge. Ideally for slow cooking is between 280 and 350 depending on how thick the meat is or how much meat you're cooking. So I wanted to surprise my husband to show him that I could actually do it. <laughs> and I think it turned out pretty darn good. So this is... Uh, been a real challenge for me and I just wanted to see if I could do it without his guiding me through it so I've got one piece of each here and I'm cutting off a little piece of it you just want to make sure that there's no pink inside temperature internal meat temperature is about 170 between 170 and 180 and that's for any meat um, actually now I don't have a meat thermometer so I look for well, I take a slice into it make sure it's not pink Make sure it's uh, cooked all the way through. And the other seasoning that I use is this Cavender's Greek seasoning. And do I have it out here? I wanted to show you the container as long as I didn't put it away. And I don't see what I did with it. Well, see, that's what happens. You get all excited about... Oh, there it is. Sorry about that. This is a gem. Every kitchen needs to have this. It tenderizes and it gets you more of the meat flavor, but it has its own little special taste. It's perfect for ribs. It's perfect for steak. It's perfect for chicken. It's perfect for any kind of meat. I haven't used it on fish yet, but it's an ancient Greek formula. It says it's kind of difficult to find sometimes. I thought it had, my mother always used this for lots of things, especially roasts. And I saw a lady where I used to work out of Publix, and she grabbed whatever was on the shelf, and I kind of looked at her funny. I said, gosh, I haven't seen that in forever. She said, I can't find it anywhere. She said, except here. Well, guess what? I stocked up. I got one for myself. Actually, I got two also. Not that week. She took them all. I had to go wait until the next shipment came in, but it's, it's just hard to describe what it does with your meat. The tenderizing part of it is just like perfect. You taste more of the meat flavor and the smokiness if you're smoking. So with the wood chips in the grill, it's actually acting like a smoker without having to buy a smoker. Some people will have smokers and then they will have a grill. Well, my husband is very handy and very, he's almost like a gourmet chef himself. And he decided one day with an old propane grill we had, that he was going to make it a smoker. And he looked up online like we all do and found out how to use an old coffee can to put soaked chips in to make a smoker. So I'm just using a throwaway uh, aluminum pan. Now this is the rib. I'm going to take this on my fingers. You can see this beautiful rib meat. No pink. Oh my goodness gracious. I did it. 
This is good. <laughs> it's been good looking good. The only thing I did at the end was, I love California. Is it California? Is it California Gold, Luna? Is that what this? Oh, Carol, I'm sorry. Carolina Gold barbecue sauce. I took a little bit of that. In the last 40 minutes, I brought some on one side. 20 minutes turned it. I did that two times. So, <coughs> two coatings of Carolina Gold on the ribs, and they are just... Using the juice, a lot of people want, and I always wondered, and my husband explained it, it was the way. He spritzes apple juice on his ribs when he cooks them out there on the grill. I didn't have any apple juice. It was all gone. He used it all. So I had pineapple juice. I used the pineapple juice, and it gives a really great flavor. Now, this is the lemon pepper chicken. It's completely done. There's no pink. Mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. That is some good eating right there. I know I hadn't come for you all yet. I thought, if I'm going to do something, it's summertime. It's hot. We don't want to heat up the kitchen, do we, ladies? So now, challenges to you ladies. When your hubby's not home, if you got a grill, do this. Surprise him. It might hurt his ego a little bit. Or he'll think, wow, I taught her good. That's what mine's going to be probably. <laughs> That's my guess. I don't know. Um, he left me in charge of the girl one day, and I got nervous. It was crazy. He just said, make sure the temperature stays at. He didn't tell me how to keep it at that temperature. That's why I looked up about the vents. <laughs> so when you first light them up, the coals are white, you put the meat on, your vents stay wide open. You keep them open so it gets enough oxygen so that that keeps it hot enough. And when it gets to where it starts to creep up past your 280 degrees or past three, 300 or whatever, if you did it at 350, what happens is it just cooks faster. I like it slow cooked. You get more flavor, and there's just something about it. So keep the vents wide open. Bring it up to about 280 degrees. That's what I cook these at. And it takes about three hours, two and a half, three and a, two and a half, between two and a half, three hours. And turning them every 20 minutes, a little bit of juice on them, and oh, these are like to die for. So, this has been your Barefoot Country Cook. This is me diving into the man's world of <laughs> grilling. Ah, boy, my husband in for a treat when he gets home. So, this is the tastiest dish I could ever share with you all. Now I'm excited. Now I want to do fish. Yeah. So we need to get on the fishing boat, go do some fish, and bring back some fish. And smoke some fish out on that there grill. I'm going to do that when he's not home. Yeah, I think I will. I'm going to try it anyway. Bon appetit. And come back again. Sorry, I'm eating with my mouthful. And uh, my little uh, friend here, she's wanting, Luna, do you want a piece of smoked meat that Mama did on the grill? You always eat daddy, so you're going to eat mine? Should we see if, my, if uh, Luna will eat the, the food I cooked? She's a smoked food connoisseur. So let's see. Would you like a piece of the rib meat? Hmm? Would you, Miss Luna? You're going to have to come over here to get it. Now she is waiting. Y'all. She is on the table. This is the only time I let her get on the table. Watch this. All right. Miss Luna. We were going to put you on camera, honey bun. Yep, I'm going to move all of this garden stuff and things like that so that your little chair can be pulled over here and you're gonna get your own little face on the camera. You ready? Watch out, here she goes. She's a little tuxedo love bug and she is a gourmet cat. And Miss Luna loves smoked meats, don't you Miss Luna? Hey Miss Luna, look what Mama's got. I have got some smoked ribs. Do you like this? What do you think she's gonna do? You gonna eat this? It's a piece of rib meat. Yeah. What do you think? I think it smells good. It smells good? Well, why aren't you going to eat it? Well, I got to check it out. Yeah, take a good snip. Let's see what she does. Usually she takes it and runs away. Gingerly putting her little teeth in there. Wait, you going to eat it? Yeah. Can't be too hot. It's not hot anymore. Oh, yeah. She's like... Oh, I tell you, I told you she'd steal it, didn't I? 
And she'll come back for more. So, if Miss Luna gives the cat seal of approval, in other words, it's been cat scanned, <laughs> then I guess it's okay. Because she doesn't eat cat food. She likes people food. Well, she's pretty good judge of people food, I think. Hey, give this video a thumbs up. If you're going to try these, if you got any questions, the first video I tell you about the spices and stuff, go ahead. Throw me a comment. Ask me. And if you do make them, ladies, especially you ladies, you guys, this is for the girls today. No, no, no guys doing on the grill today. This is a girls' grill day. And uh, let me know how it turns out. I would love to hear how your ribs, chicken, steak, do steak out there. Get some uh, steak rub. Yeah. Just spritz it a little bit. And uh, let me know how it turns out. Love you guys. And God bless. Happy cooking. And make sure you have your shoes off. Because even on the deck, this is a barefoot cook. Barefoot country cook.